Well, I mean, I think I was always aware of the presence of the walls, even as a child. You know, I was very conscious that the walls were kind of up there, and I, you know, I was living in the box at the time, so um, I didn't. I don't really know if I had the language really at that time to articulate what that meant politically or historically, but I was just very conscious that the walls were something that was very, uh, very real, very alive, and not historical at all. The walls became a kind of focal point for me, you know, so a lot of the work that I made in the mid-80s really was about trying to kind of understand how the terrain here works, both what it feels like but what it means strategically. Just that kind of sense of the walls functioning as a kind of mechanism of surveillance and control was very, very real, you know, um, experience. So for me, um, the kind of visual dominance that they had in my life as a child uh, didn't disappear when I became an adult uh, and it became uh, so pressing that I really felt as if I had to address it in some way. I was always struck by the kind of historical mistake I think that the British Army made when they kind of reoccupied the walls after 1969 so it seemed to be a kind of reassertion of a kind of colonial position in some way you know. Um, so um, for me the camera was kind of implicated in that whole kind of process because I always kind of felt when I was kind of walking through the bauxite that I was being watched in some way. And then when I started using the camera, it was almost as if I could turn the camera back on the walls. So almost like to kind of reverse the gaze in some way. Both of these photographs are taken from a position that kind of mimics uh, surveillance cameras on the wall looking down on the bauxite. So f for me, trying to kind of replicate that position and trying to both kind of undermine it and kind of interrogate it in some way were strategies that I was really kind of actively interested in at that time. Another work that I made in the walls uh, is a black and white photograph uh, with text and the work's called Shifting Ground. The photograph really kind of reflects that idea of them being completely closed down uh, by a series of what looked like really ad hoc security measures like all kinds of wire meshes and corrugated sheeting and scaffolding. And at the same time, the idea, which I think was still alive in my mind, was that that wasn't, that that wasn't permanent, that this was shifting ground, that the, the status of the walls and the meaning of the walls could change.